Hi and welcome to another episode of Pensacola Computers Presents. Today we're going to be taking a look at the ViewSonic G tablet and we're going to be showing you basically how to recover uh, and go back to an original uh, the original G tablet if for some reason something has gone drastically wrong you keep getting multiple errors or you just want to uh, restore it back to factory so you can start fresh first thing you're going to want to do is head over to XDA developers um, you're going to want to take a look at thread 861950 which is how to use NV flash full restore using Bkeet's original image. In this thread it has all the information and the files that you're going to need to accomplish this. The files you'll need for this are NV Flash G Tablet 20101050500 zip and NV Flash Windows 20100500 zip. This is, of course, based upon the fact that you're using a Windows computer to do this. There's also files available if you're using Linux. Okay, the next thing we're going to need is if you don't already have an APX driver, which is needed for the G tablet to be recognized in the mode you need to use NV Flash, you'll need to head over to tegradeveloper.nvidia.com and in their developer zone there they have the downloads for their developer kit um, you will need to get the download for your operating system for Android 2.2 Froyo um, once that's done for me uh, running Windows it was the Android Tegra Froyo uh, 20101105.msi um, you'll run those, uh, run that MSI, get it set up in your computer, which will allow you to access the driver that you're going to need for the next step. Okay, the next step in preparing to flash your G tablet, uh, what we're going to do is we need to take the two zip files that we downloaded, we need to unzip them, and then we're going to need to combine uh, the files that were in those two zip files into one of the folders or a different folder, it really doesn't matter. Um, and what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have all the IMG files uh, which were in the one zip file in with the other files because what you're going to do is you're going to run this NV Flash G Tablet bat file. Um, that will be for the next step. Plug in our G Tablet and when we plug it in using the USB cord we will press the power on button and the volume down button this time to enable it to flash at that point if you have a problem and the driver is not recognized also what you're going to need to do is open up your device manager and right click on the problem APX driver and select update driver then you're going to point it to C program files x86 if you're on a 64-bit NVIDIA Corporation Tegra Froyo 20101105 and it will find the correct driver and install so I have the proper APX driver is already installed so I can go ahead and then do the next step what I'm then going to do is you should have already unzipped the files from both of the zip files into one directory. I'm going to go into that directory and I'm going to look for nvflashgtab.bat. Double click on that and it is going to run. If for some reason your device is not recognized, you will get a message up in the DOS box. It's going to go ahead and run down. It will format, create the needed partitions, format them, and then send the proper files over to your G tablet. It usually takes a minute or so for this process to run. And once the process is done, it will tell you to go ahead and press any key to exit, at which time your G tablet should reboot. You should see on the screen that it has entered NV Flash recovery mode NV3P server. This means that your device is connected to your computer and it is being flashed. Once you're done it will tell you and it will say press enter to continue at which point your G tablet will be rebooting and same thing uh, you want to make sure 
to give it a little bit of extra time as it goes into the boot it may take a little bit more time than you're used to but don't worry about it at this point just be patient and here we go back to our tap and tap G tablet restored I uh, will make a couple notes on this definitely check out the XDA developers.com uh, for full set of instructions on how to do something like this uh, returning your G tablet to stock as well as many other cool things um, we'll be back with uh, another tutorial soon so check back on the channel